Okay. But you're right, it includes two letters, okay? And you can do it forwards or backwards. Okay. All right, All right. let's look at number nine. Okay, this is a line segment, PQ or QP. It's just like the last problem. So you put a little, little bar above it, a line segment above it, and uh, okay. you can name it either way. Okay. Any questions on that? Um, yeah, um, any questions? Yeah, is there anything that's unclear about that before we move on to number 10? Okay, so, all right. So um, P is the um, P, uh, so P, Q, Q, P. So A, C, and C, A, Did I, I got that correct for A, right? Uh, we're on number nine now, Sarish. If you had questions about eight, you want to ask me when we're working on eight before we move on to nine. Okay, okay. So do you have questions about nine or should we go back to eight? I do not have any questions about nine. Okay, do you want us to go back to eight? Yeah. Okay. Are you able to see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got that correct. Okay, very good. All right, let's look at number 10 now. Yeah. What shape do you see here? Mm -hmm. Are you able to hear me? Yeah, I'm here able to hear you. The what? shape right there, that is a um that is a triangle right there. It's like it a short a, triangle. It's a triangle, very good. Okay. How many sides does a triangle have? Three uh, three sides. Three sides. So how many line segments are there? One, two, two, three. Three. So I want you to try naming them on your own, please. And then I will I will put them down, but give yourself about a minute or two to see if you can figure that out on your own, please. Okay. Okay, so now, all right. So that right there, that, that, okay. So T, um, so T, um, so T R R T. Go ahead and get them all down, and then I'll, I'll, I'll give you the the list, and you can compare yours to mine. Okay, got it. Got the answer. Okay, so I will write down some possibilities here. There's TR with just a, just a segment above it, and then there's RT, mm -hmm. RI, and then IR. Yep, I got it, I got it right, you got it right. Okay. And then IT and then T-I. I-T, T-I, um, yeah, I put that um, uh, under, uh, under um, uh, below um, T-R and R-T. Great. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Nothing correct. Okay, let's take a look at the next question, number 11. We're actually going to do 12 first. So last time 
uh, we, we did a lesson on Tuesday. I mentioned to you, I said, hey, it's a really good idea to have some graph paper. Um, do you have any graph paper with you today? Yeah. Excellent. So this would be a great problem to do on graph paper. You want to draw your, your XY plane, the perpendicular lines, as you said. OK, yeah, now this yeah. one, now this one's, a, I don't really like this coordinate that they're giving you, but we're, we're going to, um, we're going to, we're going to make, if you, if you're drawing it out freehand, you're going to have more room up here at the top. OK. OK. Actually, I don't even have enough room there. OK, let me go up. All right. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna graph each of these ordered pairs. We're just gonna put a little dot on there uh, for each point, and you can do that by uh, just using the x y. This is x. This is y. So zero three means zero and x, and then up three. So that's r right there, zero comma three, and you can okay. actually even label the point on the graph like that. And then you do the same thing for the other. It's always X and then Y. All right. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, so in so the that, coordinate point, you have to find uh, the so, coordinate. So we're going to graph the other point, negative 2, comma 11. Okay. All right. So negative 211 means go left two. That's negative two and then up 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If you're just freehanding it, that's okay. You just you want to get, you want to show that's obviously up here. Now it's a line segment, line segment, which means it does not extend forever. So and your your instructor is going to grade you on this. They're going to grade you on starting and ending but not going beyond it. You can't go anywhere beyond it, can't go anywhere beyond it. And no arrows, no arrows when you're doing this. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you have that down? Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, last time we, um, we, we did a problem where uh, I just gave you the coordinates. I said, okay, I'm going to pick the coordinates for A and B. We're going to go back and do 11 now. I want you to pick the coordinates for A and B. What coordinates do you want for A? And what coordinates do you want for B? So can you give me an X and a Y? And it doesn't really matter, but keep them small. Keep them uh, between negative five and five, negative mm -hmm. five and five. So give me some sort of a number between negative five and five, please. Okay. Anything you want. Five and negative five. Okay. And give me a coordinate for B. What do you want for that? Um, uh, for the coordinate for B, um, I pick um, negative five and negative five. Okay. Let's let's not pick them at the extreme boundaries. Let's uh, the, the, you can pick any numbers in between there. You, they don't have to be right on the edge. Okay. I put I pick um and a negative five um and a regular five. Okay, um, the, 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 let me, I'm gonna go, I, I don't, the idea was to have you pick something that was closer to the origins, so something like negative two and three, and then uh, maybe one and negative four, okay? Okay. So we'll, just, so we'll go with those. And again, so just draw your X, Y plane. Mm -hmm. Okay.
and try graphing those two points, please. Okay. Okay. All right. So, all right. Do you have both points graphed? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So here is point A, negative two, up three. There's A. Is that where you have A? Uh -huh. Yes. And then B is one, negative four. So to the right one, and then one, two, three, four down, that's B. And again, you're going to connect them, but you're not going to go past. OK. Any questions on that? No, it's good. So, all right. So that right there, um, in the, in, this is like a perfect um, line where you need to just uh, draw it. It's a line segment because... Because there are two um, uh, circle points. Yes, and that's really important right now is, is, is to um, call it what it is. They're very specific with the language and geometry. Okay, let's move on to 13. Do you have a ruler? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Okay, so you have a ruler, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're gonna wanna get your ruler out and, and I really can't help you with this because I'm looking at a picture of a page. Uh, you're gonna have to measure the line segment from A to B. So do you have that okay. ruler handy? Okay. If you don't, we'll move on to some other questions. Okay, okay. Do you have a do you have an answer for me on this, Sarish? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting the answer. I'm sure hearing a lot of clicking for getting a, a ruler out. Do you what? have your do you have your ruler next to you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All I'm asking you to do is to measure the on on this piece of paper on your textbook from A to B. That's all you gotta do. And I, I know roughly the answer because I I Tell you, I know how wide the page is. So, what what do you say? Twenty um one uh twenty and a half inches. That's impossible. Twenty and a half inches uh, is way too long for for this. Now, are you, are you maybe maybe you mean centimeters? Mm, yeah, yeah. Yes, that that sounds reasonable. Twenty twenty. Uh, it says around to the nearest tenth. So you said about twenty point six centimeters. That sounds very reasonable to me. Huh. Yeah. Uh, thank you. All right, Thank now, you. of course, the next one is very similar. 14, it's gonna be obviously a little shorter. Um, let me- So I got it correct? Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, we don't measure things very often, but it's, a, it's an important skill to have. So um, go ahead and you know, grab your, grab your uh, ruler again and grab the, yeah. 
go ahead and, and measure uh, 14. Uh, 10, um, 10 um, uh, 0.4 centimeters. Okay, uh, and that sounds, that sounds pretty reasonable. Yeah, well, uh, 10.4 centimeters, very good. Okay, so the next three problems, uh, again, pretty hard for me to help you with them because they're asking you to um, draw them. So uh, this will be just something you're gonna have to do here. And I'll, I'll wait for you to get it done, but I'll talk you through it. Let me just grab the snip here. All right, so question 15, it says to draw something that is 4.5 centimeters long. So you're gonna, you're gonna take your ruler and you're gonna put letter A, and then you're gonna draw a line that's 4.5 centimeters long. Okay. And you're gonna put a B at the end. You're gonna do the same thing for 16. You're gonna draw something that's three inches in length, dots yeah. on either side, C to D, and then 17 is, is a little bit longer. Okay. All right. So uh, let's take, let, let me, um, so go ahead and look at your, whatever you did for 15. How do you think your instructor would grade you if this were a test question? How would um, they, I how think, would, go ahead, sorry. Hmm. Well, well, um, okay. Okay, so all right. I think the instructor, I, I, my teacher, maybe he needs to let us um, try to solve it. Like make it maybe uh, we just have to just be able to uh, make how long it is. Yeah, your 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 instructor is going to grab a ruler and they're going to measure it, and they're going to say, yeah, it's it's close enough, or they're going to say, nope, it's way off. It's very easy. Yeah, to say. yeah, the yeah, I know, I it's, know. It's 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 uh it's it's a yes or no kind of thing. Okay, so if you got your book out, can you read the instructions for question 18? Yes. Okay. The name each uh, midpoint and the segment it uh, bisects. What's that mean, bisects? We're going to talk about that. Let's first start with midpoint. Do you know what midpoint means? Yeah, it's the um, it's the like like little minus thing in the line. It's the middle point. Yeah. It's halfway between two points. Yeah. So you said uh, you went and visited uh, some, some family this summer. You flew across the country. There's a midpoint. There's somewhere that's in the middle. Uh, wherever you are right now, there's probably a wall either ahead of you or to the right or to the left, but there's a there's something that's always halfway in between you. So the midpoint is the halfway point. It's right in the middle. 
Okay. The word bisect means to cut in half. Now, I know you said you don't bring, bring food, but a lot of kids will bring a sandwich to school and it's usually cut in half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, like a, a, a sandwich. Yeah, I used to bring a sandwich like a couple years back. Yeah, uh, sometimes, uh, what are some other things that you might cut in half? Um, maybe you get some cheese, you get a block of cheese and you cut it in half. So the word bisect means to cut in half. So when you look at this picture here, let's first talk about what are called the end points. The end points are the extreme edges or the extremes, the edges. What are the end points? The end points are the circle ones. It, it makes the lines. What, 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 are the, what are the letters associated with the end points? Uh, Which letters are the end points? P and Q. P and Q. Okay. So they are not the midpoint. The midpoint is right in the middle, the middle of P and Q. Mm -hmm. What is in the middle of P and Q? What is right in the middle? What is halfway between P and Q? What is the only other letter in the problem? The only letter in the problem? What is the only other letter in the problem? The R. So what is the midpoint? It's the one in the middle. Which letter is halfway between P and Q? Uh, uh, what? What is halfway between, what is right in the middle of P and Q? Uh, R is in the middle of P and Q. So, so R, R is the midpoint. Okay. So okay. name each midpoint. Ah, okay. So, okay, R. I have to circle it, right? No, just name it. You can just say R is the midpoint. You can you can write it out like this. Or maybe so, circle it. Uh, that would not be correct. I wouldn't do that. All right. I'll just write R. But you have to be more specific. And, uh -huh. and that's going to be your biggest uh, challenge with this course is that it's, it's going to be the biggest specific. challenge yet. You are a student that it, when you're asked to do something very specific, you you tend to struggle. And that is that is the nature of geometry. You have to be very specific. You have to say uh -huh. R is the midpoint. OK. Okay, and then you followed up with saying it bisects, it bisects, and then we give the line segment, P, Q. R is the midpoint, it bisects, P, Q. Bisects, um, it bisects, P, Q. Yes, it's a, it's a sentence, it's two sentences, it's, it's, Two sentences that connect to one another. Two sentences that connect to one another. That's what a bisect means. No, no. This is this is the way you write your answer. You want to say R is the midpoint. It bisects PQ. So la last year in algebra, you would just you would just scribble a number down. You'd say, oh, it's seven or x equals seven. That's that doesn't work this year. You have to you have to write out. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you have that down so we can move on to the next part of the problem. Okay. So bisect means cut in half. Okay. Anyways. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna look at the triangle next. We'll, we'll go, we'll do the other line segment, but um, what I want you to do is I want you to focus on just this part of the triangle. Are you able to see, you know, yeah, I'm the rest? Able to okay. see. So the midpoint is D. Yes. So you'd say the midpoint 
is D it bisects line segment what? What is the line segment that it bisects? A and C. A, C. Very good. Let me know when you get that down, please. Yes, I know. Okay, got it down. Okay, let's look at the one in the middle here. This one is a little bit awkward. I'll, I'll just, I'll just, you know, be very direct here. Um, if you look at W to Z, you would say that the midpoint is right there. Do you agree with that? It's right there. That's the midpoint. Yeah, there's no, there's no specific but the, letter. But there's no point there. Okay. So what we have to do, and this is, this is, this is going to be a little uncomfortable because it's, it's very new is we have to first say, let's just look at this part. Forget about that. Pretend like it's W to Y. What is the midpoint from W to Y? From W to Y, what is the midpoint? The midpoint is X. So we say X is the midpoint. It bisects. Yeah. It bisects W Y. Mm -hmm. Okay. But there's more. Because now we do the same thing. We look at X to Z. Forget about W for a moment. Now, what is the midpoint? Now, what is the midpoint? Yes, look at, look from X. Y. Yes, Y is the midpoint. What does it bisect this time? Okay, I'm just writing it. It bisects W, it bisects X and Z. It bisects line segment X, Z. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got to say it that way, line segment X, Z. Mm -hmm. the, uh, line, seg uh, line segment uh, X, Z. Yes. Let me know when you're ready to go on to question 19. All right, I'm ready to go on to question 19. Okay. Can you go ahead and read that out loud for us, please? Draw two segments that have the same midpoint. Mark your drawing to show the congruent segments. So we have to pick out, so we have to pick any random letter. Uh, what I'm going to suggest you do here is, uh, is draw the midpoints. Let's call that the midpoint right there. And let's use the letter M for the midpoint. Is that okay? Okay. And we need to find the letters that that uh, that count that counts the uh, like uh, A B C. We're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna draw. I'm gonna draw a line here. So line segment. So here's a, here's a line segment A to C. Do you agree that M is the midpoint? M is the midpoint. Yes. Is it, yes. Okay. So can a, I write a, that? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but we're gonna do we're gonna do a bit more. We're not we're not done here. Um, not anywhere close to done, but okay. Okay. Now let's. Uh, I'm gonna draw something else here. We're gonna go D to M to E. Is M the midpoint there? Is M halfway between D and E?
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. M is the midpoint. It bisects D and E. That's right. It also bisects AC, line segment AC. Okay. I'm going to write that. Yes. Yeah, you wrote it down. I wrote it down. All right, so let's move on to number 20. Go ahead and uh, read it out loud for us, please. Okay. Draw and mark a figure in which M is the midpoint of ST, SP equals MP uh, equals PT, and T is the midpoint of PQ. So there's a lot here, right? It says draw and mark a figure in which M is the midpoint of ST. So let's just do the same thing we did before. Let's let's go. Here's here's M, and then here's S, and here's T. So M is the midpoint of ST. Do you do you agree with that? Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Okay, and all right, STM is the midpoint of bisects ST. Yes, we got that down, okay. Um, and now so, for PT. But here's the thing, we, we don't actually know, like it could also be, here's another possibility, it could be that it's something more like this, like where M could, could, also, could this also be true? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Like, I'm asking, like, cause it's, it, this one's a little more complicated. Um, it is also the midpoint. You, you agree with that, right? Yeah. Okay. So now SP has to equal PT. Mm -hmm. So wherever P is, okay, um, Okay, so I'm, I'm sorry, this one's just, it's, it's very, it's more complicated than the rest. So SP has to equal PT. SP, T is the midpoint of PQ. All right. Um, so let's just say P is here for the moment. Okay. SP equals PT. Mm -hmm. okay. is, that, is that possible? Is that true? Does that look right? Uh, kind of. Okay. And see, there's, there's actually multiple answers here. And then it says T is the midpoint of PQ. Well, I'll just put Q up here. Is T the midpoint of PQ? T is the midpoint of PQ. Uh, no, no. Well, it could be, right? I mean, these are the same length. Oh, oh, yeah, because there's a line and there between them, there was P and Q. Right. And, and, and truthfully, this is only one possible answer to this problem. There's actually many other possibilities. So I don't even, I, I don't know. This is one of the challenges of geometry. There's a lot of ways to, to, um, to answer these questions. All right, so we are we are coming up on the end of your lesson. Is your dad uh, is your dad around? Does he want any feedback on tonight? Uh, my dad has COVID. 
Okay. Um, you can just you can text him. Sure. Okay. Well, that does take us to the end of our lesson for tonight, Sarish. We will mm -hmm. uh, pick up here next time. If you need another lesson to get through the rest of this assignment, uh, let me know. Otherwise, we'll just pick up here on a Tuesday of next week. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye now. Bye.